So in this video, let's have a look at how we do Spearman's rank and how we can do this with the TI. Now in Spearman's rank, we just want to rank all our numbers in order. Now we can start like I have here by taking the smallest number. So that's this one here, the 2.3. If I go down, it's this one here, 2.3. And we can rank that with number one. And I can go from the smallest to the largest number. So I've done the first one, the A, the hectares one here, from the smallest to the largest. Now I'm going to do the number of maple trees. So you can have a look at this, but this one here needs to be the number one. And this one here is two. Now you must be doing the same order. So you must be going from the smallest to the biggest and be consistent. So then I think I've got this one is number four, and this one is number five. Uh, this one is number six, the same value. This one is number seven. Now the eighth one is a tie. So I've got two thirty-twos. So this one is in the eighth and the ninth position. So I'm going to split that. The eighth and the ninth, halfway between the two, is eight point five. And then this one is also 8.5. So now I've done the 8th and the ninth position. The 10th position is here. The 11th position is here. And the 12th position is here. So you might want to just pause that and make sure I've got those in the right order and understand exactly where I've got all those numbers from and how I split those tied values. Okay, once I've got those all in, I'm just going to go to my TI. And I'm going to show you how I calculate the Spearman's rank correlation coefficient. So first thing is I need to put them into a list. Now to save a bit of time, I've already put those into a ranked list there. So that's all good. So I'm going to go to stat again once I've got my list. And I'm going to go along to calc. And I'm going to come down to the median or the line regression one here, number four. Now when I do that, that will work out my correlation coefficient from list one and list two. So I'm going to do that. And I've deliberately done something here. When I press it, I don't get my correlation coefficient. I get with the linear regression, but the R value is missing. If this happens to you, all you have to do is go to the mode and go down until you find the stat diagnostics and turn those on. So if you're in an exam or a test, just make sure that that is on. On, or else you won't be able to use them. So there we're going to press that on. Okay, and let's get out of here. So let's go into the stat again. And let's redo that number four. And let's just enter all the way through, recalculate, and there we have our R value of 0 0.970, which means that they are very well, there's a high degree of correlation between those two with Spearman's rank.